Welcome to the first episode of our exciting new series. If you're looking to increase the profit of your eBay dropshipping store and move from break even to being profitable, you are in the right place. Every week, we'll showcase five profitable items you can sell using different suppliers. And guess what? We will tell you for what price you should list them and how much profit you can make from each product. That's amazing, isn't it? All the suppliers that we're going to showcase here in this video have been tested and have been used by us and by our community. We're only going to give you, only going to share with you information that can actually be useful and help you make profit. Now to, you know, kick things off, we are starting with eBay UK and with one of the most popular and trusted wholesale suppliers in the industry, CJ Dropshipping. Now, in response to the high demand for a video about CJ for eBay UK, we started our research to find these profitable items for you. Unfortunately, we uncovered a significant challenge. You ready for this? So the challenge is the limited availability of products in the UK warehouse. You know, once we saw this problem, our initial thoughts were, okay, you know what? It's no problem. What we can do is we can drop ship items from China warehouse, test them in our store. And then if it works, we just buy stock from the China warehouse and we ship to the UK warehouse, all right? And like this, we have our winning products with faster shipping time, right? But the problem is, uh, I personally checked with CJ if this would be possible and check it out, check what they wrote me. Okay, so this is the actual WhatsApp message I exchanged with the CJ dropshipping customer service. And I wanna share with you, I asked them, how can I buy stock from China, uh, CJ China warehouse and ship to CJ Britain warehouse? And what do I need to know? What are my costs? They replied, products can only be in stock in China and US uh, warehouse. And then I asked them, okay, what is the alternative to find more products in the Britain warehouse? How many products are actually in the Britain warehouse? Around a hundred? Because that was actually my feeling. Uh, and then they, they gave me here the link with the products here and then they replied, if you cannot find the product you want, you have to ship it from China. And then they have about 68 products in the Britain warehouse. So our solution to this issue is to start drop shipping from China warehouse where yes, the delivery uh, dates might be longer, but the profit margin will be higher, okay? So with this in mind, let's go over the products. And uh, the first two products we found are from the CJ UK warehouse. They're being shipped from Britain warehouse. And the other three are from China warehouse, okay? So let's do it. Okay, so we're here in Zeek Analytics now, and before we start, just make sure that your settings are correct, okay? So shipping location, you put United Kingdom and source website CJ Drop Shipping. you apply the changes, and then you go here to product research, um, and then you put shipping location, United Kingdom, and eBay uh, website, eBay UK, all right? And then you start your research here. All right, so the first product is hair clippers. I placed here uh, in Zeek Analytics, and then we can see the high demand, right? There's a high sell-through right here with uh, almost 70,000 pounds sale earnings the last 30 days. Now, the successful listings is 81%, so it's high. The average product price, 12, almost uh, 13 pounds. Now, check out this pie graph. This pie graph is balanced. So why is this good? Okay, let's think like this. If you have one big competitor with 50, 60% of the market share, it means that it is a very strong, very dominant competitor. And if you have a search result with, let's say, 100 competitors and they all they all share like equal shares, right? Equal uh, dominance, uh, presence in the market, everyone will get like a fair share, right? So the traffic gets distributed by all these sellers and not only by one or two dominant competitors. So it's a good sign for us, right? Okay, with this in mind, let's scroll down here. And then we see, you know, a variety of prices, right? It's, you know, um, from 799 to 12 to nine and so on. Now, I wanna I wanna show you something. Let's click here in this listings, all right? And let's compare, His, this seller is selling for 799. Then we scroll down here and we see, for example, this seller 
is selling, you know, a similar product for twenty one nine nine. It's a big difference, but check it out. He has been selling well the last thirty days, two hundred and twenty one times. And then you click here, but what's the difference, right? What what's the difference? Can you see a difference between the the products here between them, right? It's basically the same product, but you scroll down and then you see how the item description is, how well it is written, you know, with the high quality, the little stars, with the lines and everything, um, the specifications, you know, we offer a fast few case shipping, da, da, da. it's very well uh, written and appealing, right? This one, you scroll down, it's not the same thing, you see? It's not so appealing, it doesn't look so professional. Okay, so this is just one one thing that I, I want to keep in mind. But now let's find this product or similar product uh, in CJ dropshipping, UK Britain warehouse. We go and then we click uh, the item finder, right? And then it's going to open here uh, the same or similar products. And I found this product in CJ dropshipping, Britain warehouse right here, right? It's the professional electric men's hair clippers and everything. Now it is shipping from England, free shipping. The total price is thirteen twenty five, and could definitely compete, have competitive prices with this competitor right here that I, I just showed you, which is selling for twenty one uh, ninety nine. Now, how do you do this? Oh, it's not the exact same product. Well, isn't that could be a good thing, right? Because you're bringing new products to the market. Now, if you work in the title and the description with um, Zik Analytics, like the title builder, polish that title, polish the item description, you have a good product to sell. Now, how much, how much would you list this product for? Now, we jump here to Zik Analytics eBay fee calculator, okay? And then you place everything. So it's eBay UK, health and beauty, private seller. So it is, the item cost us, 1325. So let's put 1325 right here. And I would sell it for 2175 to compete with this person right here. Now, why? Why Rogeria? Why why the difference is not so high? Let me let me tell you why. So there's one thing I want to say, a good tip actually, is that we don't need to destroy the price. We don't need to reduce it by, you know, two, three dollars. It's enough to reduce it by 20, 50 cents because it will be enough to signal the algorithm that there is a better price than your competitor. Okay. Now you scroll down here, then the eBay fees already calculated the VAT the VAT you put 20% and check it out. Your total profit is four pounds and 41 cents, all right? 441. So items cost. 1325 and you can list it for 2175 with the fees your profit is above four pounds all right and if you're liking the video if you're learning something here please like it and subscribe to our channel subscribe it subscribe it it means a lot to me and to everyone okay let's go hey, and the second product is thermal face mask this is the second product of our list which means as i mentioned before this product that we found was also is also being shipped from Britain warehouse. Okay, so we see there's a high demand here for a thermal face mask with over almost 3000% and then sale earnings above 10,000 pounds. You see here nice successful listings and check out the pie graph, right? Good, good. We can take our fair share right here. You don't see like one or two big dominant uh, competitors. So that's good for us. Now you scroll down here. And you see a variation of, of uh, face masks, right? There's like balaclava and, and everything. Now, also variation of prices from two ninety nine to you know um, even higher prices. Like um, where I saw here, I quickly saw it here. It was about where was it? Like twelve ninety nine and and uh, twenty one ninety nine. And you know this called my attention for this seller, Ice Blinky, uh, because. He is all over here. You see, he's all over here. So he's selling um, these face masks and different variations of it. And guess what? I found this product for you in CJ Dropshipping Britain Warehouse right here. So 
you can see that it is being shipped from UK warehouse uh, with free delivery, you know, three to eight days. And the total cost is 331. And the seller here is selling for 699. Let's click here. Let's see the listings. Okay, so 699. How much can we list this for? So I would list this for 679, for example. So we come here to Zik Analytics fee calculator and already placed everything for you. So you see here this item uh, sold price 679, the item cost with everything eBay fee, you are making a total profit of 1.79, which is 26% uh, profit margin. So one, almost two pounds, okay? But now let's move to the third item in our list. And for this, we have to make a few changes in Zik Analytics because now we are looking for products uh, being shipped from China, from the China warehouse. So how do we do that? You come to Zik Analytics, you come here, quick settings, shipping location, you change from UK to China, all right? And you maintain cjdropshipping.com. Uh, and then you come here to the product research tool and then you change the shipping location. Okay, it is China, good. And eBay website, we'll put eBay UK and then you start your research. Now the product that I found is the Kugel wall clock. And this is interesting because, you know, you see the pie graph right here. There's only one seller. Okay, there's only one seller uh, selling this and it, it may not look like a good product to sell. But let me tell you, you can make a nice profit margin here. All right, you can steal um, a little bit from this Yuki store 2020. And you know why? Because you can make better, uh, better titles and you can make better uh, descriptions, product descriptions. Look at this, this is not appealing at all. Okay, it's not appealing at all. Now. We, I found this product here in CJ Dropshipping for seven pounds and 60 cents. And it is exactly the same product. Check it out. This product and this product, it is the same. And look at this. It's selling for uh, 26 pounds. All right. And the item is located in Shenzhen, China. So it is, it's, we are talking about the same product. Okay. So how much would you list this product for? and let's calculate our profit. But before we do that, always double check your shipping address here, okay? So on eBay, so for example, shipping here is to United States, let's put uh, United Kingdom and get rates. Like this, we see the actual price, all right? So, okay, still free uh, and it's located in Xinjiang, China. Okay, so let's go back to the question here. How much should we list this item for? So I would list this for 25, 89 for example okay so you come here to the cal calculator 25 2589 okay oops 25 2599 so the product costs seven pounds and 60 cents but be careful this is not the total price you have the shipping fee you have the service fee and the total price is 15 pounds and 25 cents okay so 15 25 15, 25 right here. And then with Zinc's amazing fee calculator, we can see here. So the total profit that you're making is five pounds and 50. So it's a, you know, a little above 20% profit margin. Good item. If you have any questions about this type of item, let me know by commenting below, okay? Now, the next product I wanna show you is anti-anxiety rings. See here, the demand is above 100%. And this earnings is like $500. So this is a product that you will not make, uh, you know, a lot of pounds for each sale, but you will sell them a lot by a little bit. So 20 cents, 50 cents uh, uh, profit here might not be a bad thing if you sell them a lot with a lot of demand. Now you see here this seller, um, you know, he's selling this, uh, this, this product here for 282 pounds. Okay. Now, the product is, is, is still, uh, you know, um, in China and it's free shipping. And then we found the exact same product. You see like this little uh, rings here, like this ring right here. We found in CJ, in China warehouse. And as you can see, it's basically, you know, the same uh, product. And then there's other variations too. You can play around here. But the highest profit margin that you would get is the second variation, which is only uh, 30 cents. Of course, with shipping and everything, the total price is two pounds and three cents. Now, let's let's go to um, Zik Analytics calculator and calculate everything here, okay? So, for example, if you sell this ring right here, it's 338. So let's place it. 
338. All right, I would, uh, 338, I would sell for 338, 28 even, 328, all right? And the item cost, we can see here that it's 203. So we place it here, the item cost, 203, all right? The total, the total price, 203. Now, everything, I changed the category already, VAT is there, the eBay fee percentage is already there, and check it out. We are talking about a 10% profit margin, 30, uh, 32 cents of profit. Now let's move to our next product, which I want to show you right here. And it is the men winter warm formal trench coat. Okay. It's basically this thing right here, this fashion uh, clothes for men. And you scroll down and then you see that this person right here, this seller is selling this for uh, 23 uh, pounds, right? And then you click here and then you see 23.84, all right? Let's change, let's just make sure that we are, okay, in the same location. So 23.84, and guess what? We found the same product in CJ Dropshipping with China Warehouse. And uh, the total price, you know, don't don't get fooled by this because the total price right here of these uh, is from 16.04 to 16.91. Now, Let's take 1604, for example. All right, 1604, let's go see how much we can make uh, with this. Now, I ask you, how much would you list this for? This product right here. If our competitor is selling, and look, he's selling well. All right, he sold lifetime 200, almost 300 times. And you see here, we see another uh, competitor, just a few cents uh, of difference. I would just, you know, sell it for uh, 28, 39, for example, all right? So 2839, 28, 28.39, uh, the item cost 1604. And then I put here, already change the category for you. And we have, okay, everything placed. The total profit is $6, sorry, six pounds and 61 with a total profit margin of over 20%. So, you know, it's not bad. It's pretty good profit margin. And don't go anywhere yet because I wanna say something really quick. Our goal here is to help you achieve independence through e-commerce and eBay dropshipping is one of the easiest ways to get there. You know, these five products that I showed you that I shared with you uh, should be an easy start. So you can go and you can list them to your store and let me know how they do it. Let me know the performance okay, give me that feedback, please. So in the next videos and the next videos of these uh, video series, I can bring that feedback. I can use that feedback and improve each video. Now, um, there's something else is that if you want to know how I found these products, comment below and I will make a video about my process, about my strategy. All right. Keep moving forward and see you next time.